excited. Okay, guys. Um, first of all, this video is supposed to be up since like last week, but I had to take a shit. So, yeah. <laughs> Second of all, different camera angle for a different video. And third of all. What is going on everybody on YouTube? It's your boy JMYC. We are back at it again for another video. I feel like I need to switch that up. Do I need to switch that up? Today's video is going to be a different video. Very different type of video. Um, you know, it's a Q&A video. By the title, you already knew that. That's why you clicked on it. You're trying to get to know a little nigga. <laughs> you feel me? So, today is your day to get to know. Me, Jordan, aka JNYC, the creator of this channel. Your pops. So I took to Instagram and Twitter for questions. If you don't follow me on those, follow me. My Instagram is official JNYC and my Twitter is real Jordan Cherry. Follow me on those so you guys know when I'm doing QA so you guys can participate in them too. Because, yeah, I know everybody got questions. Everybody's a little nosy. So ask me them. Follow me on them. Show some love. I'd love to show love back. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be grabbing questions from Instagram, from Twitter, just randomly. Just going through them. So, yeah, here we go. First question, why do you want to do YouTube? Um, I answered this in, like, my Thanksgiving video. If you haven't seen that, you guys can go watch that. I'll leave a card somewhere on the screen. Um. I was mostly bored in Georgia. I was very bored. So that's why I decided to do YouTube. Um, I've always wanted to do YouTube since like I was in like middle school and shit. But when I got to high school, I like basically completely forgot about it. I was too busy trying to be cool. And I forgot all about YouTube. Like imagine if I was vlogging in high school. I probably have like three mil subscribers right now because I would have dead ass vlogged like throughout the day like my every day of high school I would have dead ass done that shit so yeah basically I just forgot about it in high school but yeah and I remembered it because I was so bored in Georgia yeah so thank you Georgia it's the only thing I could really thank Georgia for so yeah that's why I wanted to do YouTube I was just basically bored and I've always wanted to do it so yeah do you mess with girls that have big feet? And would you ever get with a shorty that's taller than you? Um, this, this is a, a mess. This is a tricky one because I actually like tall girls. I'm I'm short. I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna ask that question later on in this video, so I'll answer it then. But I'm short already, but I do like tall girls, so I would get with a girl that's taller than me. That's without a doubt. Um, do you mess with girls that have big feet? I mean, I really don't care. But if you have, I don't want to say, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like if you have big feet, I really don't care. Because I don't like touching feet and shit like that. But, um, if you have big feet, like, don't wear, like, shoes, like, like, Chucks. Like, don't wear, like, Chuck Taylors and Converse and shit like that. Because, obviously, those shoes just make your feet look extra fucking huge so if you have big feet just don't wear those around me and i really don't give a fuck if you have big feet or not i honestly don't next question why are you so fly i mean i don't know i don't know <laughs> you beat me down <laughs> what kind of kid were you in school um i was i was weird i was very weird um i feel like each like level of school i went to I changed a little bit like you know for the better for the most part but like I changed like each level of school like elementary school I was always talkative but like I wasn't outgoing I like I'll talk a lot to my friends um so yeah basically I would always get in trouble for that um middle school was kind of the same thing but like I tried to get out of my shell because I was a very shy kid I tried to get out of my shell, that kind of, like, I kind of did that, but at the same time, I was very shy. Um, but yeah, I was still be getting in trouble for talking a lot and all that shit. Um, but I was like, you know, I was like one of the cool kids. I don't want to say I was one of the cool kids, because I really wasn't, but I was known. Like, niggas knew my name, at least, I want to say. 
Um, and then high school is when I want to say I, I came out my shell a lot, like a lot. Like I became way more outgoing. I'm way more talkative again, but I'm more outgoing. Like I'll go up to anybody, be like, hey, what's good, da da da. I think everybody, everybody in my school knew who I was. Teachers, students, new kids, kids from other schools. Everybody knew who I was for a fact. I was a very talkative kid. A very, I was always getting into trouble for talking, and I was a terrible student. Like student-wise, like like getting grades, I was terrible. School was just not for me. Yeah. I mean, I think you guys know what type of student I was based off of my I almost didn't graduate video. If you haven't seen that, there'll be an eye somewhere on the screen. But yeah, just off that video, I think you guys know what type of student I was. Would you rather fart every time you kiss someone or burp every time you hug someone? Uh, ooh. I think I'd rather burp every time I hug someone because like you could kind you could kind of quietly burp. But like if you quietly fart when you kiss somebody, like it's usually the quiet ones that are the deadly ones. So I don't want somebody thinking I'm some nasty nigga. So I'd rather burp every time I hug someone. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Oh shit. I think I wanna teleport. I think I'd wanna teleport. You know, like I could dead ass beat niggas up if I could teleport. OD like think about it if you get jumped teleport phew you right behind somebody mm. teleport phew right behind the next person me mm. you just keep teleporting you know what I mean like so either teleportation or super strength is what I would want teleportation super strength or super speed and I'll be great if aliens were to contact us what would be the most terrifying first message they could send us if you could hook up with anyone on Earth right now, who would it be? Oh, oh, probably, probably Rihanna. Yeah, probably Rihanna. I have to give it to Rihanna. I'll, listen, <laughs> Rihanna. I need to explore Rihanna. Are you kidding? Rihanna, if that, yo, if that's not like one of like the first thoughts of like in most people's mind, like yo, if like if I could f Rihanna right now, like I would, yo, you know what I mean? Like Rihanna should be probably like one of the top choices in everybody's mind. I don't care. Um, if all animals could speak basic English, would you still eat them? Probably not. Um, just because of the fact, like you know, niggas is talking to me, like. I don't know. Like I feel like then I'll I'll finally know that like yeah they got feelings, shit like that. Like you'll probably get like emotional connection to to them. You know what I mean? They'll probably be like no while wow, they try killing them and shit. So yeah, I probably wouldn't eat them. If they speak English, nah. What celebrity do you find attractive that most people don't? What the fuck? Like y'all niggas asking some weird ass questions. Um. Celebrity that I find attractive that most people don't. I don't know. I don't know. I find that girl from um Orange is the New Black attractive, Daya. Um, her name is like Dasha Polanco or something like that. It's, forgive me if I'm wrong with the pronunciation, but I find her attractive and I've, I've heard a couple of like friends say that like they don't find her that attractive but I find her fucking gorgeous like that's another one I would Woo! how many bodies do you have none of your business uh would you rather win $25,000 or have your best friend win $250,000 I'd rather win $25,000 because I, I have a feeling like man niggas is greedy yeah <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, I know me, I, I, I split it. I don't know about other niggas, you feel me? Regardless if they're my best friend or not. I don't know. So, with that being said, I'd rather win $25,000 because I could put that into my YouTube channel, make everything, you know, better for myself. I could go take trips and make videos way more interesting and just make more money. So, 
Yeah, I'd rather win $25,000 because some niggas out here are grimy. Have you ever been attracted to a friend's parent? Yes. I'm not going to name who, but I would f the shit out of one of my friend's parents. I'm not gonna name who it is. Just know. <laughs> I would f the shit out of this woman. I'm not gonna lie. Next question. If you found a wallet with $500 in it, would you pocket the cash? Yes. Yes, I would. I don't care how much money I make. I don't care if I'm broke. I don't care if I'm rich. If I find $500 in a wallet, I'm taking the cash and leaving the wallet. Simple as that. I don't need the cards. I'm just taking the cash. Have you ever sent nude pics to someone? I have. I have. In middle school. Like, terrible. But... I didn't put my face in it. Number one rules, ladies and gentlemen, do not put your face in your nudes. It's dumb. You're stupid if you do it. That's what I think. I didn't put my face in them. So if I ever get exposed, I'm lying. That's just not me. What are you talking about? Suck my d Have you ever been dumped? Have you ever been broken up with? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> Blondes or brunettes? Uh, lately, I've been attracted to more brunettes than blondes, but before, I used to like a lot of blondes. But right now, I, I'm feeling more brunetti, if that's even a word, brunetti. Have you ever danced with a stranger? I think everyone has, if you go to parties. Where do you live? Queens, New York. I'm from Queens, New York. I live in Queens, New York. Trying to live in LA, though. But I'm from Queens, New York. Are you crushing on anybody? Yes, I am crushing on somebody right now. I'm crushing OD hard on somebody right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Have you ever gotten stitches? No, never gotten stitches. I've always cut myself every every now and then, like scrapes and shit like that. But well, not like literally cut myself, but like scrapes. You know, little scrapes here and there. But I've never gotten stitches. No. What's my favorite number? It's 23 and 31. That's my favorite number. And three. Three, 23, and 31. Three because, I don't know, it's just smooth. 23, Michael Jordan. My name is Jordan. Just, you know, coincides with each other. And then 31 because I was born on January 31st. So, 31. Are you super superstitious? Superstitious. I said superstitious. Are you superstitious? Um, To certain things. Certain things I am like going under ladders. I don't do that shit. Um, umbrellas inside. Ah, uh, I kind of like. I kind of don't care about that anymore. Um, stepping on cracks. I, um, I don't really care about that. Like I don't know, dropping salt. I kind of care about that. But yeah, for the most part, it's just going under ladders. I'm not going under no ladders. So yeah, I'm superstitious. I said superstitious again. F son. I am superstitious. Would you rather be rich or be famous? I'd rather be famous because I can become rich through being famous. If that makes sense. To you guys at least. I know it makes sense to me, but some niggas out here just don't get shit. Do you curse a lot? But I would f the shit out of one of my friend's parents. I would f the shit out of this woman. I'm not gonna lie. Suck my Son, if you watch my videos, you know I curse a lot. <laughs> I'm about to start censoring a lot of shit though. See? I'm about to start censoring a lot of my videos because um niggas out here trying to make these ads, you know what I mean? Trying to make this money. Um I'm trying to get these, you know, YouTube revenue, you know what I mean? Trying to get more ads in my videos and stuff like that. So I'm about to start censoring my stuff, trying to become more family friendly, so to say. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start censoring a lot of my stuff, but yes, I do curse a lot in real life though. Yeah, I do. If you could live one age again and then return back to where you are now, what age would you pick? I'll pick 16. 16 because when I was 16, I was supposed to have gotten my permit, but I had gotten in trouble for something that wasn't even my fault. So in result, I ended up, my dad was like, nope, you're not gonna get your permit, da da da. So yeah, I feel like if I had gotten my permit, I would have been had my license, I would have been probably had a car. Everything would have probably been laid out way differently. 
So yeah, I would want to go back to 16 because I feel like I should have got my permit since then. You know, got my license since I was like 17, 18. Who is your crush? Uh, my crush is none of your business. Um, as a matter of fact, when I hit 500k, when I hit 500,000 subscribers, I'll reveal who my crush is. That's when I'll reveal who my crush is. I'll make a whole video reveal of who my crush is. And I'll tell you guys to go to her Instagram, spam up the comments, all that. But I need to get to 500k first, which is a very long way from now. So, yeah. We're not going to talk about my crushes no more until I hit 500k. So, yeah. 500k crush reveal video coming soon. <laughs> Bro, I love the videos. You deserve way more than 4.4k. You should deserve, like, 200k. Keep up the good work. Well, that's not really much of a question, but thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for the love. All love is appreciated over here on this squad. So thank you. Appreciate it. When was the last time you had sex? Y'all dead eyes? None of your business. What is your goal out of YouTube? Um, outside of YouTube, um, I just want to live life comf comfortably, you know, comfortably. I want to use YouTube to get my family out the hood, use that as an opportunity to help my friends get out the hood too, you know what I mean? Just like create a positive, healthy life for everybody around me. That's what I want, you know? I just want everybody that's around me to live comfortably with no stress, no worries, no no worrying about going broke. You know what I mean? Just I just want everybody to live comfortably. Live the life that they've always wanted. Especially my family, my mom, my dad, my sisters. I'm trying to get them a house. You know, that's that's a big goal of mine. I'm trying to move out myself, you know. I just want everybody to live comfortably. I just want to live comfortably. Oh, and um, I also want to like invest in like properties, you know, houses, lots, you know, resell them and stuff like that. So moving, moving houses and shit like that, you know, that's what I want to do outside of YouTube. I would use my like the YouTube money to do that. What is your goal on YouTube? Uh, goal on YouTube right now is to hit one million subscribers. I said one million in one year, obviously it's not gonna happen, but nonetheless, the goal is still one million. As I don't care how long it takes, I'm here for the ride. I hope you guys join with me, come on this venture with me, join the squad. And yeah, because I'm trying to get that one mil, and then after one mil, I'm going for that diamond play button, I'm going for 10 mil. But right now, the goal is one million. The goal is to, you know, just create a family on here, man. You know, get to the point where I could vlog every day, get you guys into my personal life, you know? Yeah, so the goal is one million. I'm gonna keep saying that. One million, one million, one million. That is my goal. Hey, Jordan, I love your videos. I just wanted to know, do you live out in New York right now? Or what, because you've been in New York for a while now, I'm no, I don't know, probably a little too, what the fuck? Probably a little too nosy, but I would, you know, I would just wanna know. Okay, <laughs> that's not a little too nosy. Um, I don't, technically, I don't live in New York. Technically, I live in Georgia. No, um, it's complicated because I was only supposed to come out here for a month and that was in what, like the end of February. So realistically, I was supposed to leave like in April. Um, it's July now, <laughs> but so yeah, um, technically I don't live here right now. Yeah, I technically do, but I technically don't. All my stuff is still in Georgia. Um, I'm basically just here for the end of the summer and then from there I'm out, I'm going back to Georgia where I will stay there until either Christmas or the summer again, or until I move out. 
so whichever one comes first yeah so technically i live in georgia i'm just here for the summer basically so like in around like september i should be going back bro how do you do your hair i got nigga naps so i'm trying to see how the fuck you do your shit let me know please don't skip this question um i don't know man i just literally wash my shit bro <laughs> like you know like it moves and shit but like I don't know. I wash it. I, I I just make sure that it's very moisturized. Um, hold on. Actually, I'm not gonna show you guys my um products I use yet because I'm I should, I'm gonna just make a video on it. But yeah, I'm gonna make a hair tutorial video. Just know I I'm, I keep my hair moisturized a lot. I don't like to let it get dry because when you let it get dry, your shit look like nigga naps. Because I got. I kind of do have nigga knots. I just have nice hair. At least that's what like everybody tells me. So yeah, like my hair is like completely soft right now. I could move that shit, no problem. You know what I mean? So yeah, but that's because I moisturize my shit all the time. Like all the time. I always put leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioner is the key to soft, luscious hair. Keep that in mind. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I do not have a girlfriend. I am single right now. So, ladies, hit me up. You know what I mean? <laughs> ladies, hit me up. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Ladies, you know, hit me up. I'm single. Ready to mingle. You know what I mean? <laughs> what camera do you use and what do you use to edit your videos? So I am using the Canon Rebel T6i and it's on a Joby Gorillapod and I'm using a Rode VideoMic Go. So yeah, this setup is about, I wanna say $800, $900. Um, you could actually get the camera and the mic together if you get the video creator kit. Um, the Gorilla Pod's about eighty dollars by itself, so that's about like yeah, like an eight hundred, nine hundred dollar setup. Um, I do put a wind cover over the mic for when I'm like outside and stuff, and like even inside, it just helps the sound sound more crisp and clear and stuff like that. And then to edit, I use my MacBook Pro, thirteen. No, it's not thirteen inch. I believe it's what fifteen. No, it's thirteen inch. And I use Final Cut Pro 10 to edit my videos. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do like two more questions and I'm done. What's going on, bro? Just coming out here to say your videos are high quality as fuck. Thank you. You deserve like 500K subscribers. <laughs> well, if you say so, you know what I mean? 500K subscribers, crush video coming soon. Reveal, let's get it. How did you get all these subscribers? Cause I'm trying to start my own YouTube channel. Yeah, I just need some advice. Okay, um, basically, I just made videos on what's popping. Um, you know, whatever is trending at the time, I try to make videos about it. Um, you're not gonna really get much views, I want to say, because obviously the old, like the the bigger YouTubers are also making videos on those topics because it's what's trending, it's what's getting views. So because you know they have like millions of subscribers they're gonna get way more views and people are gonna watch their videos before yours but I still suggest to do it anyway because if I didn't I wouldn't have gotten 4,000 subscribers right now you know what I mean I probably still be at a thousand two thousand right now you know so yeah just do what's um what's trending do what's trending and yeah, and then mix it in with like shit that you like to do, you know. Like I like to do, I, I like to do rant videos here and now, you know. Sometimes I'll implement skits in my videos so people know that like, oh, this kid is funny, you know. So they'll keep coming back, not just for the trends but for the personality. So yeah, I say be be like sh make sure you showcase your personality in your videos, whether or not you're doing trends or not. Even if you're doing reactions, showcase your personality. Cause that's what gets people to come to your videos more than the actual video. They want to see you doing whatever the title says. You know, 
They want to see you reacting to whatever the title, the video you're reacting to is, you know? You, your personality is what's going to drag people in, you know? I'm blessed to say I have 4.4K people that f with me, you know? F with my personality that say I'm lit, you know what I mean? I f with that, you know what I mean? That's what you want. You don't want to just have subscribers just to have subscribers. You want legit like a family. You want people that actually fuck with you because they fuck with you, you know what I mean? So yeah, last question. Would you ever consider doing a advice segment on your channel? Because I'm pretty sure you have a good outlook on things. Um, I actually would. Let, let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like that. You know, like, um, you know, send me questions, like, in my DMs on Twitter and um, Instagram. You know, it could even be Snapchat. Let me know if you guys would want that, you know. Just send me, like questions that you guys need advice to in my DMs and I'll definitely make a segment. If I get enough, I'll make a segment. But if I don't get enough questions, I'll just, you know, personally answer you guys through the DMs. But if I get enough questions, I'll definitely make a video, you know, make maybe turn that into a whole series, a segment on my channel, you know. But yeah, I have to get enough um questions like in my DMs. You know, obviously personal shit that you guys want advice to. And I'll definitely, you know, try to help you guys if that's what you guys want. I think that's it. I think you guys got to know a little bit more about me from my last Q&A. Uh, yeah. This has been interesting. I like this. Again, if you guys want to participate in this, follow me on my Instagram. Official JNYC and my Twitter real Jordan cherry so you guys know when I'm asking You guys to send me questions so you guys can participate In the next Q&A if you guys enjoyed this video go down there smash the like button as always Turn on my post notifications so you never miss when I drop a new video, but before you do that you must subscribe uh, You thought I wasn't gonna ask you to subscribe subscribe though. Why not join the squad we live over here Dabbing on haters. Steal that from Jake Paul. <laughs> but yeah, merch link in the bio. I dropped some crazy ass merch. Listen, I'm not even gonna show it in the video. Just know, merch link in the bio. Always plug. It's your boy JNYC. We signing out. Dab, dab, dab. Peace. <laughs>